Hello and welcome to an extremely chaotic video. It's been a long while since I did a college plus life vlog and this one is going to be a lot of fun. Trust me. Let's go. So today is my second day of attending an offline coaching. This one is of ophthalmology. A lot of you asked me in the comment section of my shorts. So I thought of mentioning it in this long video also. It was a four day class and we were able to complete the entire ophthal syllabus. I'm so, so glad and i loved the offline teachings of course it was tiring because it was 10 hours a day classes but i really enjoyed the whole process of learning offline again after so many years of my need coaching so now i had to get ready to go attend a function i'm wearing this beautiful white suit that i absolutely love and it makes me look so good light bhi chali gayi thi and it was so difficult to get ready to style my hair today i'm using b bland's hot shot range b bland is a premium hair care and styling brand which is synonymous with cutting edge hair styling and hair care. First of all, I'm using the Hot Shot Heat Protection Mist which has grapeseed oil and pro-vitamin B5. It protects my hair from heat damage. It has a unique heat protect technology and it controls the frizz and comes in a color protect formula. I also tested this out using this earbud and it completely passed the test. Today, I'm not doing a lot to my hair. I just wanted a nice sleek ponytail. I use this B Blunt Straightener Brush to straighten my hair only in the ponytail and then I use the B Blunt Hot Shot Hold Spray to give my hair the instant hold without leaving any residue and at last I finished off with the Hot Shot Finish Spray which gives an instant shine to my hair. Every time you buy from B Blunt, they link your order to a Women They Empower with Sambhav Foundation through B Blunt Shine Academy. They are on a mission to empower 10,000 women across the nation. And yeah, I'm finally done. Look at how gorgeous my hair look right now if you buy from them you can use my code mitali2023 which is valid on bblunt's official website the products are also available on amazon nika and flipkart so go shop so this now. was actually a family function for which i had to go at my nani's place and my mom dad everyone was coming there only i couldn't record a lot there i went by metro i was really tired so for dinner i ordered these kebabs from gulati but i'm so stupid i I realized after ordering that my dad also gave me some home food which was aloo and puri so I first of all finished that halfway and then I had the kebabs and that also I could finish only halfway through and the next morning was a very hectic morning I had to leave for my surgery postings so currently this month of July entire July I have my surgery postings and surgery is honestly the most dreaded subject for me although I really like surgery but I also always feel that there are those small voids that are always left in some of the other topic that you know you need to revise every now and then or you need to learn i had quickly my puri and achar for breakfast and then i left for the posting it was ot day today i couldn't record a lot and wapas aake for lunch i finished my kebabs and i spilled all the chutney in the fridge wo abhi bhi saaf karna hai mujhe by the way and today we got the news that tomorrow is our surgery ward leave and i was so scared and today's whole day is going to be dedicated to studying surgery only i started off with me a to-do list for myself so that I have a clear picture of all the topics that I need to cover and then I started off with reading the practical aspects from S. Das which is the practical book for surgery. I read about lumps, about ulcers, about general physical examination. I also made a few of these sticky notes of all the info that was extra was either taught in class or um, sir told us to read it otherwise. So I read it from the internet and I made these sticky notes and stuck them to my book so that whenever I read it again, I'm always reminded of these points. After 3-4 hours of studying, I was already so tired. I took a quick break, went to Shrija's room, we did a bit of gossip. I came back and uske baad I also had to complete my practical file, which also might be seen tomorrow in the ward leave. So I did that. After finishing off the practical aspects, I started reading Bailey, like all the topics that I already read from Bailey, only those. I did not read any new topic. And also I did my marrow notes of all the topics that I was able to cover through this month. I was so mugged in the mein that I almost forgot to have dinner and honestly I didn't have to because the lunch was very heavy. Around 11.30 I felt really hungry so I made Maggie for myself because I believe this is the last and the best resort 
for us students who are living in hostels so this one was the spicy maggie i did not have a lot of expectations from this but this turned out really well i liked the spice though for me the salt was a little less to maine extra upar se dala tha and yes i enjoyed my evening meal or snack So today is what leave day. I am so nervous but at the same time very very happy that finally the posting will be coming to an end and this will be our uh, last viva at least for now for surgery. I quickly got ready to go shower, change my clothes, made my hair and for what leave we also need to carry a few things together like a stethoscope, an inch tape, a torch and a knee hammer for the examinations that we need to perform on the patients. My case for the what leave was as a biliary injury post cholecystectomy uh, if you're not a medico i know ye thoda sa upar se gaya but yes the viva also went well and finally we all were done with our ward leaves we were so excited and we were so happy that iske just baad humne plan kar liya that let's go watch a movie together today hi so ward leaves done i'm so happy abhi oh, there is another big task jo mujhe complete karna hai which is ki uh, maine promise kiya tha on my instagram कि जब 100 के सब फॉलोअर्स हो जाएंगे तो वील डू अ मीट एंड ग्रीट इन दिल्ली तो आई एम ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग मैं सोच रही हूँ कि वो मीटअप हम कल करें बिकॉज आई एम फ्री ओवर द वीकेंड एंड या इट बी फन कल फ्राइडे है एंड ऑल्सो मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा कि मीटअप कैसे करना है कहाँ करना है बिकॉज दिस इज़ माई फर्स्ट टाइम So yeah, abhi abhi this is going to be a very small scale meetup. I can't cater to a lot of people because I have no experience in meetups. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. But definitely, we will do a meet and greet soon. कितने लोग एक्चुअली आ जाएंगे मुझे जब मैंने अपने इंस्टाग्राम पर डाला था तो कम से कम 200 हंड्रेड रिस्पॉन्सेज आ गए थे एंड uh, मुझे ऐसा लग रहा था कि अगर 200 हंड्रेड पीपल हो गए तो आई मीन हाउ विल आई केटर टू देम इंडिविजुअली एंड ऐसे ना हो कि बहुत भीड़ हो जाए टाइप तो लेट सी वॉट कैन बी डाउन वापस आई ऑलरेडी चार बज रहे हैं चार चालीस का शो है हम बाबी देखने जा रहे हैं आज एंड मुझे अभी विद इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एक वीडियो भी एडिट करना है और उसको भेजना है एंड बहुत ही सारा क्यों रखा है और तैयार भी होना है Let's go.